How long did it take you to finally settle into this process? Because you said originally it didn't start off this way. Yeah. So again, the culture of continual improvement triggered by the phrase, fix what bugs you. And so we always stop to make improvements. In the typical job shop or high stress, toxic work uh, environment, they're like, just get it done. Yeah, but what if you get it done? What if you could just stop and improve it? Um, I think it's an Abraham Lincoln quote. It's someone smart that said it. Um, if you had like four hours to, or, or an hour to chop down a tree, what would you do? Well, I would spend the first 30 minutes sharpening my ax. That's what we wanna do. We wanna sharpen, we call it sharpening the blade around here. Um, if this is a process that's gonna live on in perpetuity because it's a mature product line, stop and make the, the improvement. Burn, I don't care if you burn a day improving it because we know that within a month, couple months, sometimes even a week, sometimes by the end of the day, we see that improvement back. If we can buy a $20 Allen wrench set so that a guy doesn't walk around for 10 minutes every morning, we'll make it up by the end of the work week. So yeah, continual improvement. So Lean manufacturing, can it be implemented at any level of a company? Small shops, big shops, any size shops? Yeah, so I always say that lean manufacturing is not like, it's not like a set of tools, it's a mindset. So like these guys, whenever we go have morning meetings, we cover the eight ways, we cover our 10 company principles, cover our nine company values. We recite our vision statement. We talk about our mission statement, all that stuff, because we want to put that in people's minds so that they're wearing like a set of glasses that see the world through a lens of eliminating waste. So yeah, like if you're prototyping, prototyping is one of the most difficult environments to deploy lean in because there's so many moving pieces, you're always changing stuff, you're throwing stuff away, but you could have your set of tools that travels with you, you know? Um, one of the things that you guys have done, investing in our pallet systems, hey, we're gonna make this hub, or I don't know, what do you guys do? Yeah, the previous year, they, they standardized with this pallet, we're gonna make it, nothing's gonna change. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, no pun intended, but that type of thing. Uh, we just standardize that type of, type of work, so. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mindset.